Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Robert, The Daily Trader. It is August 16, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how to use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So uh, Palantir down a little bit, uh, down 17 cents, 1.72%. Closed at 974. Post markets, we are down by three additional cents. Let's look at what uh, happened uh, during the past few days. So on Friday, we had a nice move up, nice bounce on 947. Yesterday, Monday, still a green candle, but we got stopped at 1013. So uh, maybe we are going to do what we did in the past and enter a congestion zone between nine bucks and 1013. We stayed there for, I would say a couple of weeks before going higher. And now we seem to be back down in this nine to 1013 area. We just closed back outside of this upward channel. So maybe really we are going sideways. Let's go see on the one hour chart. Nothing special. We had stochastic over 60 for a while. That was nice, but then we lost it today. Lost it today quite dramatically, but then we came back up a little bit, but no stochastic. So most likely this is the new short term downtrend that we are in. When we have a stock that's at a certain level, then it drops suddenly and then comes back up and retests a resistance with no stochastic. Usually this means that this is entering a new channel, a new downward channel. So I have to draw something like this. So maybe this is something like this that is happening right now. Down to nine bucks. You know, this is where this could be heading. Let's go see the daily chart. So on the daily chart, um, let me remove this. Let me remove this from the daily chart. This is too detailed from the daily chart. I'm going to just keep it on the hourly chart. So coming back on the hourly chart without stochastic over 60 on the daily, a move on the hourly chart, even with a good stochastic can fail. And this is what happened a little bit. Yeah. So a uh, stochastic over 60 is not there on the daily chart. We have it at 31. We have the crossover bearish. So this is why we have one thumb down, but we have the two lines above zero. And this is why we have the green thumb up. We don't have RSI and we still have the MI barely. It seems like Palantir wants to go sideways. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you a lot for sure.